Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. Today I'm going to be emptying out some buckets of potatoes for Christmas. So these ones were planted in April and I let the foliage die down in the summer. Haven't done anything with them, just left them, just skimmed a few of the weeds off the top and now we're going to have a look and see what potatoes we've got. So this is a variety called Aran Victory. You can see it as a they're a purple potato. There's a few on the top there. And I'm going to empty this bucket out and we'll see what we get. See if we get some potatoes for Christmas. Now it looks like there's a few, that one's starting to sprout. So these must be a relatively early variety I'd say. So we can just take the sprouts off and they should be fine. Put them in a bucket. Not particularly massive potatoes. Some of them quite small. And I might use some of the small ones as seed potatoes for next year. So you can find that certain varieties, if you leave them in your compost, will start to sprout again. Found that last year, but not all of them do. Just depends on the variety. And what I need to do is get as many of these out of the compost as possible. Some of them are not a bad size. That one's not going to do anything, I don't think. I've done this with potatoes for Christmas each year. I found that if you try planting potatoes specifically for Christmas. They don't get a long enough season. It gets too dark too quickly. Even if you start them in August, they sort of produce a bit of top growth and then either get blight in our area or the tops die back with the cold weather before the potatoes have got to any sort of size at all. So the last few years what I've done is left a few buckets to turn out just before Christmas so that I've got some new potatoes that I can use for Christmas dinner. A few worms, a few nice worms in the soil. And what I'll do is I'll reuse this compost for next year, just add some fertiliser to it, make sure I've taken out all the small potatoes and use it again. So there we go, a few potatoes, Aaron Victory. Should be uh, okay for use in the next few weeks. Just uh, dry them out a bit at home and uh, I shall use some of them at Christmas. So this is another variety. I've grown these in the ground last year. There is a variety called Valor. Um, 5th of May these went in, so quite late. So I'll empty these out, see what we've got. Now these are... So 
certainly a little bit bigger than the other ones they're a sort of whitish potato and these I've grown these before and they're ideal for roast potatoes So this variety doesn't seem to have sprouted at all, so they're storing better. A few very, very small ones, not sure if you can see that, a few very small ones, you need to make sure you get those out, otherwise they'll grow in your potatoes next year and might be a different variety in a different bucket. Again, not massive in buckets this year. I think um, there was problems with watering them early on in the season, so I didn't get very high yields. But I don't mind that so much as long as I get some potatoes. I may next season go back to growing a few in the ground. The advantage of growing them in buckets is they don't seem to get damaged by pests that the ones in the ground do. But you get higher yields in the ground, so for me anyway, I seem to get higher yields in the ground than I do in buckets. And I think that is down to the watering. So there you go, hopefully you can see a few nice yellowy creamy coloured spuds there, ideal for making roast potatoes. The last variety I'm going to turn out is a variety called Wilger. Now I think these were replanted from the previous year, so we'll see how they've done. These have been done in a sack rather than in buckets. There's definitely some potatoes there. Oh, that's a decent sized one. And these are a little bit bigger. Well, some of them are. Yeah, these are definitely a bigger potato. I'm pleased with these. Not loads of them in here they're a bigger size so that's more useful maybe for creating roast potatoes so there we go there's a bucket of Wilger a much bigger size less of them but I do have another bag like this so should have enough spuds for Christmas dinner definitely. So here we are the results of two bags of Wilger potatoes plenty of spuds for Christmas. I hope you liked seeing me reveal some potatoes before Christmas. Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's allotment and may I wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.